I forgot to do the intro before I got on the bike. So, sorry about that. Um, I'm heading over to Pavan Horse Trail South. I haven't ridden in about a week and a half and I'm having some shifting issues with my bike, but that'll affect the climb on the way back more than the trail itself, I hope. Um, rocking the chassis today, as you can probably tell. So uh, yeah, just wanted something short and uh, easy. Um, it's got some spicy moments. There's definitely some pedal catcher, a little bit of exposure, some cactus, maybe even some horse poo. You never know. Um, it is an equestrian trail after all uh, in this whole system and region here. That's something to look out for. But uh, yeah, there's a couple spots where you do have to maybe crank a pedal or two and you gotta time it right because pedal catchers and you've got a little bit of a bump that you need to get through Again, you're going too slow, then you don't have enough balance and uh, you're not really secure and you might tip over into the exposed side of the trail, which you don't want to do. So it is a blue trail. Um, it's short and sweet. It's kind of fun, but again, it, uh, it's, uh, it's a blue trail. You got to watch out. I just realized I need to release my... Uh, I need to unlock my front forks here. My only, uh, my front end suspension. Anyway, I gotta do that. But uh, I'm gonna climb it back up because I can. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you. I'm making the intro too long again, my bad. Uh, let's get it. So again, once you're on this track, if you don't wanna have to look at trail forks, you see on the left side, we've got these three posts. Um, that's your signal that you're taking the next right to get to Bavan Horse Trail South because there's at least three descents here along this uh, section and yeah if you want to take the right one without you know again having to check your GPS then there you go I wish I came in on that faster but oh well
Well, there you have it. So a couple, uh, a couple things. Um, again, you've got some off camber bits, some pedal catchers on that right side for long stretches, uh, exposure on the left. Things are a bit rocky. Um, you're always, you know, using your trail vision to look ahead for rocky bits, but especially there, there's some that are loose and dislodged a bit. You hit those on the wrong angle, that's no good. Even if there's ones that are embedded, you hit them on the wrong angle and it's gonna move your tire and you don't have a lot of wiggle room on that trail. So I had one moment where it, things got a little spicy for a second. Um, and yeah, horse poop. So you gotta make a call. Do you wanna go through it or are you gonna try to go around it? Uh, I was able to go around two of the three. One of them I kinda had to go through a little bit, but uh, yeah, it's a split decision to seconds, you, or a split, split second decisions that you gotta make, right? If you wanna go around that, and, and again, it's just making the right call because what are you going around onto? Exposure or onto off camber bits or whatever. So um, yeah, it's not crazy technical, but it's not something that I feel that like you can blast down very well unless you are a very, very skilled rider. Uh, again, the rocks um, definitely provide a lot of opportunity for wreckage. But uh, there you go, Pavan Horse Trail South with the chess cam. Uh, we'll see you in another time for another raw ride.